Hello, I'm Toby Nelson, Certified Public Horticulturist, coming to you from Whidbey Island at Venture Out Nursery. Today we're going to talk about soil amendments and mulches. So, a soil amendment is something that you would incorporate into the soil when you're planting to provide nutrition to your plant, to help with drainage, and to help with general soil porosity. So, two main types of soil that you might be planting into would be a more of a clay based or more of a sandy rocky based soil so in the case of clay soils what they really need is an organic matter that has a lot of texture to help break up those clay chunks and but clay soils are great at holding nutrition so you don't need something that's a fertility powerhouse so i like our like our purely compost blend is a great blend it's got great texture and it provides fertility, but it isn't necessarily like all the crazy fertility that the worm castings, the chicken manure, or the farmyard blend manure would be. Those products are great for a sandy or rocky soil because they bring in a lot of fertility as well as a water holding capacity and you know great drainage and just general nutrition for your plants. So that's what I would use for amending a soil. For mulching, the reason that we would mulch a soil would be to um, help retain water and to help suppress weeds. So you can mulch with a compost or a manure, but that will be a furrow mulch. And so any weed seed that blows in is gonna be happily germinate and grow like crazy. So it will help you with the water holding and it will help you with building soil over time, building soil quality but it's definitely gonna germinate the weeds that fly in. So if you're looking for a less fertile mulch, but still something that's good at building soil over time, I would recommend our soil building conditioner. So this has a nice chunky texture. Um, it will eventually provide fertility as the soil microorganisms break it down but in the first year or two as it sits on top of the soil it is not the fertile host that compost would be and that your basic garden soil will be it's going to keep that weed seed bank of all those weed seeds that are already in your soil it's going to keep them dark and quiet and suppressed and anything that blows in won't be quite as excited to germinate as it would be in your regular garden soil so this is a great mulch that eventually adds into your soil, which is why it's called soil building conditioner. So great for save, saving you time and water and helping to protect that investment. And it looks nice as well. Another mulch product is bark. And bark is a great choice if you're looking for an ornamental mulch. mulch bark is not my favorite mulch because it doesn't do anything to build the soil over time. It does not really feed the microorganisms. It doesn't offer any nitrogen to your plants. It does not serve that soil food web that is what we need to build to make great garden soil. It simply sits on top. It does hold the water in and it is not fertile at all. So anything blowing in will not germinate. So it's very cosmetic. But if you want to invest in building a quality soil over time, bark is not your best choice, I would go for more of a soil building conditioner mulch. I hope that helps. As always, if you have any gardening questions on soil amendments or mulches, you can always leave a comment or contact us here at Venture Out Nursery. And thanks so much for watching. Happy gardening.